All right, so we're moving on to the thoracic range. Now, thoracic is talking about uh, the area of your spine below your cervical and above your lumbar. So it's the middle region of your spine. And essentially, if we can increase our ability to extend through there one vertebrae at a time, we're gonna have a much better ability to get things behind our head and keep our shoulders safe as well as our lower back. So this loaded mobility or cross bench pullover drill here uh, is gonna do that for us because we've got gravity pulling ourselves this way. We've also got gravity pulling our hips down that way. So the way that we get set up with this one, we can start with our hips higher to get in the game. So make a bit of a bridge. And then what we do is we grab the dumbbell, start nice and light. You don't need too much here. Grab the dumbbell and just let gravity pull it apart. And you can see that he's extending that thoracic through the midline there. He's nice and safe through the lumbar spine. And the longer he spends there, he's gonna to start to lengthen out the lats, the subscap, and all those nice, juicy shoulder muscles. To increase that intensity, I like to drive the hips down. It creates a bit of a lumbar curve, which is fine. You're gonna really start to feel that a lot through the thoracic and those vertebrae. So choose a vertebrae you wanna work on, work on all of them, and just let that gravity pull you apart. You can either spend 35 seconds, 40 seconds there, or you can do a few reps. So you bring that back, take a breath, brace through the midline, and then go back into it. So pick a weight where you feel like you're at a six or seven out of 10, so that your muscles actually have a chance to change the tonality and that connection between the mind and the muscle will actually create a stimulus and therefore an adaptation. So take it easy, let gravity do its thing. <laughs>